this is a sort of concentrated, summarized introduction to bioenergetic bodywork. And it's about being coherent with oneself, true to oneself, with what one is thinking and what one is feeling and what is going on at that moment in our bodies to somehow get together our intellectual, emotional and physical uh, uh, realities at that point. And uh, the summer course is a format where I try to introduce people who often have never gone to a workshop like this to actually experience that in four days. It, it has a lot of information and anyone who goes to this can get an, an enormous amount of insight in four days. And re really it's about learning to live with quality. It's about putting quality into your life and being aware of one's human relationships. Bioenergetics is, is, is a very interesting kind of therapy because it's, it's based on the idea that um, if we have emotional problems or psychological problems, these problems usually are also repressed in our bodies. So if I have fear, uh, it's legitimate for me to ask myself, where do I feel my fear in my body? Or if I'm angry, where do I feel my anger or my rage? Do I want to bite? You know, do, do I want to tear with my hands? Do I want to kick? A and actually to even visualize what movement would I like, what fantasy of a movement would I like to show my aggression? And <clears throat> what happens to us is that <clears throat> when we are tiny children, um, we learn to adapt um, to our family norms. So we, we tend to survive by repressing our true selves, our feelings, uh, in order to fit in with what is approved of by the family. And of course, the family is also belonging to a society. So that society also has a strong cultural uh, influence on what is allowed behaviorally and what is not allowed. So um, the, the end result of this is that when we grow up, um, we often are emotionally blocked and the way that we are emotionally blocked is by something that in bioenergetics we call muscle armor. We block our feelings by blocking parts of our body. Like for example, if I feel like screaming or shouting, I may strangle the muscles in my throat to hold back my scream or block my diaphragm, not to feel the feelings from my lower half of the body. If I feel anger or, or fear, I can, I can block these, you know, by contracting the muscles in my jaws or contracting the muscles in my neck or by contracting my diaphragm uh, and just hold off. And, and then uh, that's, I suppose, socially acceptable. But the problem comes when I then want to have a, a really full, rich, uh, lively existence. Y you know, like if I fall in love, and I want to express my loving feelings fully, then unconsciously I'm blocked and I'm not able to do that. So, so bioenergetics is very much about liberating the muscle armor at the same time as recognizing where that armor comes from in the mind. So we're both working with mental resistances, mental blocks, mental defenses, and also working with them in the body. And the miracle of bioenergetics is that when one starts to stretch the body, one starts to release the feelings. And very often, it's like it's amazing to see that someone has been repressing crying or anger for, you know, their whole lives. Then you start to work on that part of the body that is holding that armor, repressing the feeling, and then the breathing, the feeling actually comes right away in front of you. I, I didn't believe this. I used to read about this in, you know, Dr. Alexander Lowen's books. Uh, and I'm a therapist myself, and I used to say, no, this is, this is far out. This is not possible. But now I've seen it so many times myself and experienced it myself in my own bioenergetic therapy that I, I can see that it is, it is true.